So are we human beings or we are human doings? Am I a body and I have a soul? Or I'm a soul and I have a body? Just take a minute to reflect inside yourself. So who's here for the first time? Welcome to Harmony House. My name is Mona al and I'm one of the team uh, members here. And uh, this is um, a continuation of our Saturday seminars that we give in English. We also have seminars in Arabic on Tuesday. And we have some announcements which we will announce at the end for the coming courses. So welcome. Uh, so maybe to start with, uh, we take this um, topic of, I think, what pulled you here? <laughs> we are tired of doing and we want to be. Is that the case? <laughs> yeah. You know, our natural nature is being but uh, we became human doings. And I just want to start by uh, reading a quote from an uh, inspirational speaker. And he says, it's better to go slow in the right direction than to go fast in the wrong direction. Yeah, his name is Simon Sinek, and he, he's a leadership um, inspirational uh, speaker. See? It's like when you want to reach from the car from one place to one place. You might go fast, but in the wrong direction, right? <laughs> so it's the same with our life as well. You know, if we start taking care of the inner self and making that right, then you reach to the right destination. That's like when you drive a car. Before you drive, you make the mirror proper, right? Make sure you put your seat belt. And then you start your journey. It's the same with us as human beings as well. When we take care of the inner self, which no one is paying attention to now, then... Our life can be easy, we can flow with life, we can be more at peace, enjoy life rather than I'm running uh, after life. Yeah, agree? Um, and then there is another quote by Albert Einstein. He said, we can't find uh, solutions to our problems from the same consciousness that created the problem. So if the problem is here, I have to change my consciousness in order to find the right way to solve the um, problems, right? And so, um, yeah, let's take a minute and um, see what is preventing us from being, you know? واضح الصوت ولا لا؟ بس انت كان يو هيلب هير بليز. اوكي ذيس از ا سمبل بيكتشر اوكي اتس ا بودي ويتش وي اول نو ذيس بودي ويتش وي كول ذا هيومن فورم رايت؟ اند ذن ذير از ذا بيينج Call it being, call it, uh, it has different names. 
And sometimes for these subtle things, we can't actually put words when we speak about the soul. You know, we say ruh بالعربي. We say uh, al We say consciousness. Because words are again coming from uh, a body awareness or a body consciousness. So we can, what we do, we give pointers to what the soul is. But then it's you who is going to discover this real self. That's why we say like here in Raja Yoga, it's all about experimenting. Because actually all of you, you know what you need to know. It's inside you. Agree? It's just we are uh, bringing or let's say shining some light for you to be aware. You know, the fact that you are here because you realize that there is something more to me, the body, right? That's why you are attracted to to know more about yourself. That's why we say here, it's not about giving you knowledge, you know, or uh, teaching or anything. No, it's about giving some thoughts that will make you discover yourself. Or let's say, you know, they call it self-inquiry or self-discovery. So it's more of an invitation for all of you to realize, we say, the real I. You know, when I say I, who's, who's I, right? Um, before we just, we go on, Okay, Atma, what about the Zoom? All are listening. Sound is good. Okay, so um, so I'm going to share actually a few thoughts. We call them meditative, let's say, sharing. And uh, let's see together um, what we are feeling because I, I'm not here to give more information, you know? It's more realization. So um, let's share a few thoughts. You can uh, actually close your eyes or put rest your eyes here. You know, whatever feels comfortable for you. Maybe they will sleep, Atma, if you make it dark. <laughs> Maybe they will sleep. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, we just make sure that we are relaxed, our body is comfortable. And we are here to experiment with this human being. Because we are not human doings. The awareness I am is not doing, it is the being I am. Whatever the mind is doing, it has nothing to do with you. Out of habit and conditioning, we started to identify with our mind. Here, we are here to discover the silent inner being that uses this body as an instrument.
And now, as I am sharing these thoughts, your mind might be wondering, might be jumping. But that's okay. I accept everything now. I also accept my naughty mind. And I don't mind my mind. The mind is like a naughty child. But I, the real I, the self, I am the mother of this child. I'm very quiet. I'm very still. And I don't give attention to the child. After some time, the child, the mind will also be quiet. Are we able to see the self and the mind, even for seconds? Hmm? I, this observer, the real self, the mind is part of my soul, or let's say the soul, right? But this mind has been very naughty for so long. You know, it's like people who have dogs or puppets, they know. You know, they say there is a master for the dog, right? Who has a dog here? <laughs> yeah, you know, the dog can be very naughty, like the mind, right? But if the master is quiet, is silent, and doesn't give the dog his attention, the dog will rest after some time, right? I mean, I, I have a fear of dogs, but I know that those who have dogs, yeah. they, they share this, you know. Or, you know, sometimes with children, I see it with my nieces. You know, like a one-year-old, two-years-old child, if they fall, if the mother is watching, they start crying. But if the mother is busy, they get up and continue, right? Who has this experience, right? Yeah, it's the same with our mind. Our mind for so long has been very, very naughty. It gave us so many problems. People now, what do they complain from? Overthinking. Thoughts, 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 you know? And so now, that's why we call it easy Raja Yoga with the meditation we, we share here. Because it's very easy, but we need to Give it some attention and nurture this being. This being is there, but no one is, everybody, the society, the education, the culture, our parents, everybody speaking to, let's say, Mona in my case, to the body. No one speaking to the soul. That's why the soul is sleeping now. And now, because of what's happening, there is a need inside that, no, you know, I want to live differently. I'm tired from my life. I want another way to live. And why we want to be in this being? Because that's our nature. And, you know, everything uh, natural is easy. So you see yourself, anytime you feel stressed, it means it's against your nature. There's something wrong in my posture. You know, if you sit like this for a long time, feel tired. Just change your posture. It's the same. Now we want to change the inner posture. 
because um, we have lost this posture inside. Everybody's talking to the, we call it the role, the part I'm playing. And so for this being, now maybe all of you, you are here because something inside you felt, no, there is something I want to explore more. You know, we know that we are human beings, but I want to know more. And when you start this journey, let's say, of being awake, then many things go together. Look for yourself. Maybe you look for God, for truth, for, uh, you know, laws in life. And so they come as a package. Okay. And so the more I get to know myself, then I will naturally understand other things as well. So now what's happening is that it's a very subtle uh, space between the mind, because we identify with the mind all the time, right? We say my mind, my idea, uh, my suggestion, my opinion. So who is who's my, who's saying my? Someone, right? Thought, you are the creator of the thoughts. You're not the thoughts. That's why you can change even your thoughts, right? What's what's bothering us now? Many thoughts. Thoughts about my job, thoughts about my family, thoughts about my children, thoughts about what else? How much money I want to make, <laughs> right? But everything outside, why, why we want to learn more about the being because it's the only thing that is stable. Because everything outside is subject to change. No matter how much you try. You know, people say in the world, we want to find uh, the soulmate, the right partner. And then what happens? <laughs> so much, huh? And then, you know, okay, some people are lucky they find their soulmate. <laughs> but majority... <laughs> Then you want to find another soulmate. But in reality, why are we looking for the soulmate, let's say? To feel good. Anything in life, what, why are we doing what we're doing? To feel good, right? If you want to marry, if you want to have a good job, if you want to, what else? Money, you know? Now they say like these most richest people, that they put them in Forbes and all that. Many of them are on antidepressant and they can't sleep. And I think one of the most important things now is sleep. <laughs> Do you agree? People take pills, they try so many things. I know from friends, you know, let's take magnesium, let's take this oil, let's say, who has an issue with sleeping? Yeah, yeah. Because the mind is restless and there is fear. And when there is fear, you know, everything, the root is fear, actually. And fear comes from insecurity. So the more I know about myself, the more I discover myself, this inner being, no fear. Because the self is eternal. Self never dies. Self is always good. Self is always peaceful, loving. And so more I'm in touch with the real being, naturally, and really I see this out of experience, naturally outside, like when you take care of your inner attitude, naturally outside will be blessed. Really, the right people will come in front of you. The job will come. Even if you maybe have less money, but your money will be blessed. Um, just naturally life flows, really. But if inside is not well, no matter what you have, you know, as I said, millions. If, you know, inside I cannot sleep, I'm restless, I'm worried, I'm, uh, what else, in sorrow. And then maybe I do things outside, right, to make me happy. I travel, I get into relationships, I uh, look for maybe good friends. But it's all temporary. It's not it's not constant. It's good. It's very good. We need money, right? 
to, to be comfortable. And then uh, we need good friends to, you know, to enjoy life. We are here to express, experience, joy, dance, love, right? But the idea here, I'm not dependent if this friend is gone from my life. My dog is not there anymore. If uh, my partner is for any reason left, then my life is not up and down, up and down. I have more stability inside. And then really naturally, as I said, things will flow with you outside. And so the doing now, we became actually human doings from the morning when we open our eyes. Before I even jump from my bed, I want to do this, I want to call this, I want to answer this message, right? I want to, yeah, rush to work. <laughs> so constantly doing, doing. And so can I take some time in the morning and nurture this being, the self? And really, you know, our day is like a cycle. So if you start your cycle right from the morning and then you end your cycle right, most likely your, your day, you know, you see it sometimes when you wake up one day and you're rushing, your day is different. Then when you take your time, you have your coffee, you have, you know, you start the day slow. And then, of course, because when we are in, in our self-awareness, then my mind is more quiet and still. And when the mind is quiet, I'm able actually to do more. You know, they say less is more. There's a saying now. Why? Because when the mind is quiet, I have I have more power inside and I have less distractions. I'm able to discern what's right, what's wrong. I'm able to say whether I uh, have to speak so much and explain or not. Naturally, you will have that cleverness inside. Otherwise, our energy is wasted in the doing. We speak what we need to speak in two words. Maybe we speak in uh, 100 words because we want to justify. We want them to understand. That's all our ego inside. That's another topic for another session. <laughs> because the ego, even if you are perfect 99.9%, you will find that point one to make you feel down. Agree? Because by nature, we are amazing human beings. We are extraordinary. We're so good. But the ego tries to find a fault. And why is that? Because of our old way of thinking. You know, since we are born, we are conditioned. My, my clarity, my realization lately is that we are a combination of habits. Worry is a habit. Fear is a habit. Anxiety is a habit. Um, wasting time is a habit. Wasting my energy. Speaking too much is a habit. Many things we have. And we have been entertaining this with our mind. That's why we have overthinking. But... Can I change now these habits? Yes, I can change. And this is the beauty, that we have so much inner power, inner capacity that we can change things. We just have to realize that this is good for me. And you know, one thing that I've been like noticing now, let go of the old beliefs that doesn't serve you. You know, we have so many beliefs that doesn't serve us anymore. Let go of them. And follow your heart. You know, we have been so much in the head, thinking, analyzing. Go now to the heart and start feeling things. You know, they say people who, uh, who are like almost dying, uh, they made a survey. And many of them, you know, those who said that they followed their heart, they don't, they don't regret anything. But those who followed only their head, they regret. 
they regret spending time with their children they regret you know maybe helping others so really more more uh, we become intuitive and follow the heart of course we need the head to take decisions to you know um to maneuver in life but try to to balance that with your heart because now it's time for the heart everybody is about thinking critical thinking this that like you know so much about thinking and here let me stop and say practical thoughts are good practical thoughts like for example i need to drive my car go to my work هذا practical نسميها افكار عمليه right uh, i need now to arrange the room I need to uh, go shopping. These are all practical thoughts. You know, they say the human mind have around 60,000 thoughts. And these thoughts are okay and they don't bother us. Which thoughts bother us or gives us trouble? Negative, Negative thoughts and thoughts that are related to our identity. I'm a man. I'm a woman. I'm a manager. I am a doctor, I am Muslim, I am Hindu, and I am Arab, you know? Why? Because this is identity. So if somebody tells me, Mona, you know, Kuwaitis don't behave well, I get offended, right? Why? Because I am, I am Kuwaiti, yeah. <laughs> Or let's say as a manager, you know, somebody tells me uh, you're not a good leader, you know, then I get offended. No, why? I'm, I think I'm a good leader. Or let's say I'm an excellent cook and somebody tells me the food is bad. You know, then I get offended. Why? Because I think I am the cook. I'm not the cook. I am cooking. It's not me. Right? Because I might change my job today from a cook to uh, an engineer, for example. Right? So I'm not what I do. This we need to make it clear. Because if I identify with my role, then anybody can press my buttons. For this we need power. For this we need courage. Because we have been for so long since I am open my eyes as a baby what they tell me you're a girl should wear pink as a boy should wear blue uh, you're a boy you shouldn't cry who said boys shouldn't cry <laughs> why you know they have the right to, to cry why not so we have been conditioned with the, with the society so much so much so it became like a programming inside it became like engraved you know, my religion better than your religion, my way of thinking better than your way of thinking. So now I can be all these roles, I can be all these parts, but don't identify with them. That's the whole thing. Don't say I to them because I am and then that thing comes, right? Right. Sometimes, you know, this is one of the tips I wanted to share with you. Sometimes we say, let's say you wake up, you're not so good, you're, you're moody. Or let's say you're sad. There's nothing, you know. What I say, I'm sad. Now change your language and say, I'm aware there is sadness. What I did now, there is a space between me and what's happening. Does that make sense? Or I'm heavy today. No, there is heaviness. Why? Because I is a stable. But that thing, let's say yesterday you were in a bad mood. Today you're good. Right? So I am not the, the mood that was yesterday. Right? Because you say yesterday I was not well. Yesterday my mood was like this. So you are not that thing. That's happening to you. So we need to tap into the subtlety inside us. And we don't know that we know actually. And so um, 
For this, we have to little bit be patient with our mind, with our, you know, like this is where we need courage. Courage is not to fight outside the people. Courage is to face my inner drama. You know, we say there is outer drama, like Shakespeare said, but there is inside drama, all, always like noise, like a radio playing inside, right? Even when you want to go to sleep, this radio is working. <laughs> so, you know, I always like to give this example of the radio, that the radio, it's making sound. When you close the radio, what is there? There is silence. But that silence was there before the radio. Right? So this is who we are. We are the silent, quiet, beautiful, peaceful beings. And from there, I, I allow things to happen. So I have a question about, you know, how you said, um, if you wake up feeling sad and then you're like, oh, I'm not, I am not sad. I'm keeping a gap. I am feeling the sadness. My question is, how does the sadness come, you know, mm -hmm. and how do you feel like, you know, like sometimes you go in that loop that why am I feeling sad when, how does it just come? I mean, nothing happened, but yeah. it came. Yes. yes. Very good question. Okay, so the question is again just for this one in case. It's like sometimes we have sadness and why it's coming. Um, you know, there is here we say the intellect and memories and tendency. We have an archive inside us. And uh, some things from the past, they can also come. But why they come? Because of old karmic accounts, because of our way, you know. Also, we got into the habit, actually, of feeling sad. So, but now, the idea is not to analyze so much why it came. You know, it's like I have a basket of garbage. No need to dig too much. If it's clear... Let's say sometimes someone told me I said something to someone and someone answered me back. Maybe the way I said something was not right. And so when these people attacked me, I, I felt bad. But as you said, if something is from the past and I don't know, no need to analyze it too much. Because the more you give it your attention and you start to analyze, the more you're giving it energy. You know, they say where your attention go, the energy flow. And where energy flow, life grow. So you are actually giving it life. You're making it alive. You go to your work and you tell your colleague or your friend, oh, I'm sad today. And I don't know where the sadness came. And I don't know why I feel heavy, you know. So we are making it bigger and bigger. And this is where really the power of a full stop. You know, we learn here how to put quickly a point, a full stop. Because if you put question mark, it will take you more to other cues. Why and how and when. Yeah. But it's sometimes the ego doesn't like to put a full stop. It likes, you know, it wants you to analyze. Because why? It got into the habit. And now you are the master. Now you're not giving it your energy. So your mind will naturally resist. This is something good to know ahead. You know that, yeah, my mind will do all his games. It's a mind game. The mind will, uh, <laughs> because where the sadness is also created first in the mind, then, and then you feel it, you know. So your mind will start to uh, jump, to to grab your attention, like this naughty uh, child or the naughty dog. It will do everything, jump, oh, do. But if you're quiet and you see it, but you don't look at it, you change. And I realize sometimes, really, you put nice music, you put songs that you like, you go, for example, do something that doesn't involve thinking, and you will see it will subside. Especially going, yeah. But even if you're not in nature, really, you try to cook something. You just divert your attention. 
it, it, it helps a lot. But as I said, it's um, it needs power to observe it and not get sucked into it. Because what we do, we, we get pulled. It's become so strong that we get pulled. And okay, sometimes it's good maybe if I have a good friend that I can trust, I can vent, but not to expand so much. Yeah. So let's have a few minutes more of uh, contemplation. And then we'll take some questions if there's anybody that has questions. And then I also want to read for you. Maybe I can do this now. We have a very lovely brother, Khaled, who is uh, part of our family here. And um, shared nice things today related to the topic. And so there was this, um, you know, in the world, they say to be or not to be. And this is actually... A, um, Shakespeare wrote this uh, Hamlet, right? In the Hamlet. And why they they said to be or not to be? Because at that time, in that era, it was all about to do, to do, to do, right? So people became tired. You know that uh, story? Yeah. So be, people became tired from doing, doing. They said, Khalas, it's better to live this life than to do, 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 right? And then um, people went to the other extreme. They said, okay, to be or not to be, then we don't, we, we don't want to do. And you know, they started that era of being hippie, of uh, going in the forest. They said, you know, we can't just continue our life doing, doing, doing. And we just want to be. But now, you know, we are in a, in a time where we say, yeah, we can do everything, but first let me be, you know? So it's from being to doing. So very nice points that I would read for you. To be means to know. When I know my true nature, full, complete and perfect, I will be content with my true nature. And I will start to give, not take. Right? Because when do we become takers? When we are when we don't know ourselves, when we think we are incomplete, and I want my soulmate to complete me. Ah. And then what happens? We get into disappointments and uh, things like that, we all know. So we say, like, it's nice to complement each other, not complete. So, what is the best relationship when you're complete in your essence? I'm complete in my essence. And we are together, but we are enjoying the life more. I'm not waiting for you to complete me. And you're not, because if I'm not complete, how can I give you what you need, right? No human being is complete. Only God is at the absolute, right? So, uh, so when I know my true nature, the self, the being, the inner awareness, then I know that I'm full and I'm so beautiful. Don't need anything. To be doesn't mean to become passive and not productive in the society. To be means I don't wait for the result of my action in order to be happy or content. Because I'm already happy and content in my being. So I'm not waiting. I'm not a victim. I'm not uh, incomplete. To be means to fulfill my responsibilities with love and happiness. To be means to be light in my action because is something nice responsibilities can be crowned around your head or a basket above your head nice no like when you are full 
uh, you have a responsibility to share this happiness, this knowledge, but you're doing it out of love. But if you feel I am, I have responsibility, then it's heavy, like a basket on your head, right? I have to do this, I have to do this. Then it feels like a burden. But when I'm full content, then I just want to give when I experience myself and as, as this. To be means that the source of my happiness and contentment are within and not depends on external happiness that may come and go. True happiness and contentment are constant beyond change. To be means to know yourself and therefore find a balance in life between work and enjoyment. To be means to love more and to give more without any expectations. It's my true nature to give, not to take. Yeah, so this is all from uh, William Shakespeare, Hamlet. Yeah. So now to be or not to be? <laughs> to be and then do, right? You know what you will realize? That everything will be divinized. You know, we say we want to be divine. But it's not about the person. This is what we are talking here. You know, now in the world they say, don't become, don't take it personal. Oh, you hear this? Don't identify with your with your form, you know? Um, because we are not the person. Person is needed to express the soul. But I'm not the person. That's why we say don't take it personal. But we don't really understand it well. In order for me not to take it personally, I have to know who I am. And what I wanted to share, like before we get into the meditation again, is, you know, like now we are here for one hour, let's say, you know, you're hearing some knowledge, some thoughts that will help you, you know, nurture. But it's like, you know, you go in the gym for one day, you do so much and then you leave it. It's about consistency. You know, they say in the gym, you start with one kilo and then you, you know, you go with two, three, four. So it's about being consistent. That's why here, let's say what we do and we need that support system. That's why some of them live here in the center and some of them come every day, you know, because we need reminder. We cannot, uh, why? Because the, the energies outside are so strong and they're all talking to the body and all it's all about body consciousness and that's why for me to to have that platform to nurture this inner self i need the right environment i need to be with the right people and the right people who have the same mindset so i can you know refine refine because we know the being let's say i i get it but then i have to nurture it because the ego is the king now in the world. It's it's the game of the ego. It's all about how much you have, how much power you have, how beautiful your body is, you know, all these cosmetic surgeries. It's all about body, body. It's so much body consciousness. And now we say, oh, I want to be so conscious, <laughs> you know? It's like... I have to, it's, it's easy, but I have to practice being this, you know, nurturing this being. It's like they say, it's the sleeping beauty. It's there, but you need to wake that prince within you who's there already. So um, anyone has a question or maybe we, we go into meditation? What do you feel? Does it make sense? Does it, is it, is it something, يعني, you feel it's imagination or you feel it's true? 
<laughs> for the one who came first time. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Imagine it's your real self, but we don't know ourselves. It's so sad, right? Like it's there, but I don't know how to tap into it. And then I go beggar. You know, we become beggars, right? I know it's a strong word. But we become beggars. Give me little love. Give me little peace, please. You know, I go to Maldives to have happiness. <laughs> So really, I feel like whoever is here now, you're meant to be here. And really, it's like an invitation for yourself because the world is so beautiful and it's the same mind. I can make it heaven or I can make it hell. We all have this mind. But it's like my inner, cam uh, what they call it, compass. Uh, and when I am really tapping into this beautiful self, I see everything beautiful. I see beauty even in, this, in the thing that is not, that is maybe very difficult. You know, they say the eye of the storm, when there is a storm, the eye of the storm is very still, very quiet. The storm might be very strong. It's like when you go also, people who dive, you know, the more you go inside the ocean, you find stillness, you find treasures. On the surface, it might be tur turbulence, right? So, um, this is the idea now. Let's, let's have a few minutes of uh, reflection. And uh, let's see how uh, we can tap into this inner self, yeah? Just become aware of your posture. Take a deep breath, relax. You are here to discover your real self. And to be, you don't actually need the mind. We call it the self, we say awareness, they're all the same words. It's the silent, quiet being. We call it sometimes silent observer. And now I accept everything. I accept even my naughty mind. I accept the drama outside, inside. Everything is okay. You remember that you are this silent being. It's our natural nature, natural wisdom. It doesn't belong to any philosophy. It's not a practice of the person. It's a direct seeing. It's the real I. A 
And I is not in the drama, trying to get outside the drama. The I is already outside the drama and looking into the drama. The drama is a play. Happiness, sadness. Just a play happening, happening. And things are constantly happening. Nothing is happening to me, the self. And without this real I, there is no drama. And here we're saying that we're not really looking for experiences. Experiences are happening. I'm the one who's saying, I had that experience. I remember this experience. Silence is your nature. It's not sometimes, but it's for all time. You are the stillness within. You are the truth. All of this you already know. Naturally and automatically. We say, my body, my thoughts, my mind, my feelings. My is not I. This is true freedom. You are already free. I can feel now deep peace. Because self is peaceful by nature. I see everyone with this vision because everyone deserves respect. We are all extraordinary beings. So beautiful. So silent. And we come to this planet Earth to play and enjoy and express our beauty.
Can I be this lighthouse? This powerhouse? And this presence I also remember God was the ultimate presence. It's also my companion, this journey of awakening. with this inner contentment. I continue my day, but I act out of awareness. We are meant to do and move and work it's coming from a space of stillness. We'll play a song now and um, take questions if there is any at the end. You can stay in this awareness and see how much you can keep it, how much I can this um, inner light, we say.
Anyone has something to share, question, a few minutes? No? Everybody is in the being. <laughs> did you, like, did you manage to have... At least some glimpses of what is we were sharing, the being. Can you see that the being is not the mind? Yeah. You know what I suggest? Like we say, marinate in this. Like don't go now directly. What's up? And this. like try to contemplate on what we have shared. You know what made sense to you. You were sharing about the Hamlet. You want to share anything? <laughs> you want to share in the mic so we can hear you? Hamlet was my favorite quote. So after uh -huh. that, he went on to ask whether it's nobler to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune or to, to pretty much run. So um, like what you were speaking on, it kind of like resonated on a higher level of what Hamlet was talking about. Nice. Because, you know, we are social beings. We can't run away. You know, they say, who is really wise? The one who is peaceful in his own cave, in his own forest, or he's peaceful when he is with noisy people. <laughs> that's that's the test of how much you are peaceful, you know? It's easy to be peaceful when I'm alone. No one bothers me. <laughs> but to be peaceful and give others also good wishes, even my enemies, that requires power, right? But you know, the beauty is that we all have it. And that's why it's um, it's possible. Good. Everybody seems very peaceful. I don't think you needed this uh, <laughs> session. But, you know, I feel personally, as a person now, it's like this is what's needed now really to be more um, quiet, introvert. Of course, we need to do our responsibilities and whatever we have to do. But don't let this inner treasure go from you because you can have everything material, but you don't have this inner peace. Then why am I living even, right? But the opposite, if I'm really... So content, happy, joyful, no matter what. You feel like you just want to dance and explode, right? 
We have someone here who is very into. You want to share something? <laughs> Nawaf? Nawaf is in the being. <laughs> So, yeah, I um, mean, dance is an expression of love, right? Expression of happiness, expression of joy, whatever you are inside, you can express it outside. <laughs> so I want to say that we have, uh, so thank you all really for coming, giving me also this opportunity to be reminded of who we really are. And... Um, yeah, we have the Arabic course and English course, right, Fatma? Monday. The English course from 7 to 8.30 in the evening, starting Monday for four days. And the Arabic will be starting the morning at 5.15. The Arabic course will start on 15th, March. 15th, next Friday, yeah. 10.30 10 to 12. For how many days? Not clear. Friday, Friday and Saturday. Okay. Okay. Uh, Atma, you want to see if anyone in the Zoom had questions or they're also silent uh, beings? <laughs> I have a question. Is that the self? Same as the soul. Is the self? Same. same as the soul, yeah. It's the same. Hamza? Okay. Anybody else? Atma? No? Okay. Anybody want to say any final thoughts? No? You want to say something? You did have a question, yeah, please. Is it possible to have like a spiritual blockage where you can't connect to your mind or yourself or you can't connect to certain areas that you should be connecting to? Actually, in our understanding, the blockages come from the person's mind, you know? But as a being, the being has no blockages. But the mind sometimes from our old whatever patterns, habits can have a certain blockage. But again, more you nurture the being and you start, because who's saying I have a blockage? It's the mind. You know, sorry, what's your name? Courtney. Courtney, you know, the whole idea about our session today is to see the mind. Because sometimes we say we want to control the mind. But it's not about controlling the mind. The mind. It's about observing your mind. So the blockage is again something that you can observe. Of course, if you can, um, uh, if you know it, if you know where the blockage is coming from, then you're able to heal yourself as well. But sometimes even like, you know, you were mentioning about heaviness, sadness, they will all come at some point, but really more, more you are in the lights, the other dimension beyond the physical, the blockage is coming from the physical again. So no, next time I'll share with you a story, the eagle, but uh, no, you can fly, you know, so we are all meant to fly actually. But come back, huh? Don't... <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.